so it is uh, one of the important uh, chapter or topic in java programming so first of all we will see what is inheritance what is the main advantage of inheritance and uh, by taking some example i will give the clarity point number 1 uh inheritance is one of the important feature of object oriented programming it is one of the key point of object object oriented programming so inheritance is allowing to create a new class from an existing class so we have a class and uh, from that class we will create a new class and the new class particularly in this context that is called as sub class or a child class or derived class so that point here i have written the new class whatever we will create is known as sub class or child class or a derived class and whatever the new class we will create from existing class so that existing class is uh, known as super class or parent class so that point uh, here i have written the existing class where the sub class is derived is known as super class or parent class so that means uh, we got an idea in inheritance context there is a super class and uh, there is a sub class super class is also known as parent class sub class is also known as child class then we will go to the next point we use extends keyword for creating sub class or uh, we can perform inheritance by using the keyword extends extends and the main advantage is inheritance inheritance provides it provides the concept of reusability the concept of reusability reusability which is the main advantage which is the main advantage so i will explain what uh, exactly the meaning of usability in later on i will take an example and i will give the clarity if somebody will ask you why inheritance the answer is reusability when super class property again use in sub class so that is known as reusability but uh, i will explain by taking a real time scenario so we use extends keyword for creating a sub class why inheritance answer is reusability then in java inheritance is an is a relationship so the concept of inheritance establishing a relationship so that relationship we can say that is is a relationship a car is a vehicle dog is an animal apple is a fruit okay so that means dog here dog is an animal so we can treat dog as a sub class animal as a super class here apple is a sub class fruit is a super class in this way so the inheritance it is establishing a relationship so that uh, relationship is what is a relationship so in this way i can write also what car is a vehicle dog is an animal apple is a fruit so now we will uh, what go to practical section so practically by taking uh, some examples i will give the clarity so how to represent a super class and uh, how to represent sub class directly i will go to my intellij idea environment so in this environment practically that we will see so in which way that we are representing 
superior class and in which way that we are representing subclass and what are the abilities of subclass and overall how we are representing inheritance program so here we have a package my package name is com.inheritance so right click so i will create a new class suppose my class name is inheritance let example one so one uh, file dot job file that we created inheritance example so now we will start let class let we have a class suppose uh, let class uh, demo one let it class demo one and in demo one class let uh, we have a property we have a method let uh, m1 let my method name is m1 and one output statement i will write system dot out dot println so let i will write java programming so what i did so let we have a class name of the class is demo1 so in demo1 class we have a method so here the method name is m1 this method i have defined so i can say this m1 method definition is the property of demo1 class now i will go to another class so i will create another class but that class so i will create as a subclass so how to create a subclass you see class class name let class name is demo2 class class name then extends so there is a keyword extends then demo1 okay so now i can write in this way now demo2 in this context demo2 is a subclass so before extends keyword so this is a class after extends keyword it is a class so after extends keyword i have written demo one after extends keyword whatever the class name we are specifying you remember that is the parent class or super class so here the class demo one the class demo one is super class and here the class demo2 demo2 is subclass now suppose uh, since demo2 is a class i will uh, define a method let my method is another method is let m2 so that m2 method i will define so one statement i am writing system dot out dot println suppose i will write java inheritance java inheritance okay so in this way two uh, class i defined one is demo one and one is demo two demo one is my super class demo two is my soft class m1 method definition is the property of demo one class m2 method definition is the property of a demo to class now i will come to main method okay so public static word main then string args so then question is in main method that uh, already we have known first line is the object declaration first line is the object declaration then here we have two classes demo one and demo two so which class object that i will take so a uh, demo one class object i will take or a demo two class object i will take the concept the inheritance concept is saying you remember so with the help of one object with the help of one object we can access all property all parent and child property you remember the inheritance concept is saying with the help of one object we can access all super class and subclass property suppose we, we will check linearly let's suppose we have no idea suppose 
uh, which uh, class object I will take in this context. So what I will do? So I will take a demo. Uh, one class object I will suppose take. Suppose let it obj equals to new demo one. Now so obj is the object of demo one plus obj is the object of demo one plus then we know that after object declaration object dot m1 method then object dot m2 method in this way suppose i wrote you see so when this line i wrote okay so here you see error error is arising m1 method is the property of a demo one class so there is no problem so happily it will invoke by demo one object because m1 method that i have defined inside demo one class so when m1 method will invoke by demo one object m1 method definition can execute there is no problem happily it will execute means m1 method definition will execute we will get java programming but coming to this line m2 method is the property of demo 2 class m2 method is the property of demo 2 class demo obj is the object of demo 1 demo 1 is a super class m2 method is the property of demo 2 class demo 2 is a sub class so in this line error is arising in this line error is arising if i will hit run so error we will get now i executed you see error cannot find symbol method m2 variable obj of type com dot inheritance dot demo one so error is arising that means what uh, we are observing super class object because obj is demo one object demo one is super class super class object is not able to access subclass property because m2 method is demo 2 property demo 2 is subclass so i can say m2 method is a subclass property so super class object is not able to access subclass property so that we got it. so what we will do now so we saw an error is coming so now we will change our logic that means instead of demo one object i will take demo two objects equals to new demo two now instead what i did i changed i changed so instead of demo one object i took demo two objects demo two is child class now i will hit run now i will hit run so we'll see what we will get the output you see so happily we got the output one is java programming one is java inheritance that means so this line you see obj is demo 2 object demo 2 means subclass that means now obj is subclass object but m1 method is the super class property so what we got a point you remember super class property super class property so can access by subclass object or we can say subclass object can able to access super class property and in this line there is no problem because m2 method is the own property so subclass object so access the own its own property as well as super class property this is the advantage of subclass object so here in inheritance we saw we observed when or at the time of object declaration we will declare which class object we will declare subclass object because subclass object can access super class property so this is the note point that you can write note subclass object can access super class property okay so from this uh, observation 
that we got so when we will write any inheritance program so at the time of object declaration we will declare subclass object or child class object then uh, we will go to another example another example we will see for uh, again more and more clarity so let i will create a new java class let my program name is inheritance inheritance example okay so inheritance example 2 suppose let we have a class uh, let class uh, a11 let it suppose we have a class a11 uh, let uh, we have a data member in the x suppose let uh, this is the property of a11 class now i will create a subclass let class a22 extends let a11 so a double two is my super class sorry a double two is my subclass a double one is my super class now let's into y so here x int x this is the property of a double one class into y this is the property of a double two class now I will define a method. Let void get method. I will define. Now I will write x equals to 100, y equals to 200. You see, immediately uh, you will be shocked. Sir, x is the property of a11 class. The property x not physically available a double two class. But get method is the property of a double two class. A double two means subclass. But within get method directly I accessed x and it is valid, there is no error. So if it is valid, so what again another note point that we got. So this is the subclass property. Get method is the subclass property. Subclass property can access a super class property previously we saw subclass object can access a super class property but here we are seeing subclass property can access super class property this is called as reusability because you see this property already used in super class this is super class now a11 so this is super class now this is a double two this is subclass so get method is the property of subclass so subclass property is accessing super class property why is it the own property there is no problem happily subclass property can access but here subclass property happily accessing super class property so super class property physically not available in subclass but directly it is accessing so this is called as reusability okay so super class property again use in subclass so that is reusability okay so in later on i will take uh, a real time scenario for better understanding of reusability so here we are getting advantage of reusability okay similarly so i will uh, define next method void so method let i will write to output statement system dot out dot friend ln. so i can write x equals to the value of x so i can write system dot out dot friend ln so i can write y equals to the value of y in this way so get method so method definition is the property of soft class so now in object declaration currently we started so at the time of object declaration which uh, class object i will take always 
particularly in inheritance context subclass object i will take so a double to let object name suppose ob equals to new a double to this then ob dot get method then ob dot show method okay so when this uh, line will execute get method definition will execute and when this line will execute so this person will execute now so i will hit run oh okay okay so where is the main file inheritance one minute one minute okay so nobody have told we have not written main method public static word main string so i thought some point i miss uh, is missing okay okay so main method uh, we have not written so without main method we know that java program is meaningless it is mandatory that we have to define main method because from the main method onwards the control will start its execution so this is the object declaration and this is the message passing when get method is invoking by the object will be then control will go to the get method definition get method definition will execute then after that control will come to this line and when it will execute then control will go to show method definition then show method definition will execute so based on this two output statement output value it will display in your picture now i will run so we will see so you see we got x equals to 100 and y equals to 200 so this is inheritance first what is inheritance in inheritance context so what we got there is a super class and there is a subclass at the time of object declaration then we are declaring subclass object subclass object can access super class property subclass property can access super class property also so this is inheritance i hope everybody got clarity 